Uh, thank you. My name is Mohamed Tamalt. I'm, I'm a journalist. Uh, there have been uh, political sources and speculations, you know, uh, saying that uh, President Obama wanted to give his first speech to the Muslim world outside, you know, the United States from the largest, I mean, the, the country where it's the largest number of the Muslims in the world, Indonesia. Uh, so, uh, I just want to ask you, President Yudoyono, uh, uh, as a president of the biggest uh, number of the Muslims in the world, what are, the, you know, what are your estimations and what are you expecting from, from the United States in the, way of, uh, in the context of changing the foreign policy vis-à-vis -vis the Muslim world and Indonesia particularly? Thank you. Yes, uh, I had two phone conversations with President Obama, uh, and I received the visit of uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton when she visited Indonesia last month. Uh, we discussed a lot, uh, including how the U.S. now uh, trying to use a new approach toward the world, to, toward Islamic world. It seems to me that the U.S. learned a lot from what uh, uh, she has done in the past. And uh, we welcome this kind of approach. I was asked by uh, Madame Hillary Clinton, for example, my views on how should uh, we deal with Myanmar, with Iran, with uh, countries in the Middle East. And uh, we came into conclusions that engagement, communication is much better uh, than without communication at all. Because when the U.S. Uh, start engaging other countries, they may find new option, new, uh, new way in solving the problems. So uh, I come into the conclusions that uh, President Obama uh, and his administration try to engage Islamic world uh, from different approach. And we welcome that kind of approach. Of course, uh, everything uh, will take time. Uh, even brilliant ideas, uh, there must be a time to uh, have an adjustment and anything that can uh, make uh, good ideas uh, well implemented. So the conclusion is um, I could see the wind of change uh, inside the U.S. administration in dealing with Islamic world. And we welcome, uh, Indonesia welcome this kind of approach, uh, using soft power more than a hard power.